Working out just how much is spent by the NHS on treating overseas visitors has proved to be complicated. The rules say non-residents in the UK can be charged for hospital treatments, but there are many exceptions. So now the Department of Health in England has carried out what it says is the first comprehensive study in an attempt to reveal the true cost of health tourism. It's estimated that £461 million is spent on treating foreign visitors who should pay for their care, but the NHS recovers only around 16% of those costs. In addition, it's thought between 70 and £300 million is spent on health tourists, people who deliberately travel to the UK for treatment. The government has proposed temporary migrants, such as students, pay a levy of up to £200 in case they fall ill, and hospitals will be encouraged to recover more costs. But Labour points out the figures used in this report are very uncertain. The government's own report raises major questions about the figures being used, saying they're based on old, uh, out-of-date assumptions. Uh, and we think this is more about headline-grabbing for the Conservative Party than it is genuinely helping the NHS. The £500 million the government believes could be saved is less than half of 1% of the total NHS budget in England. The ministers say that would pay for thousands of new doctors and nurses. Dominic Hughes, BBC News.